Hello, Trinot family. My name is Thomas Cutler. I'm the Senior Director of Product Development here at Trinot. And it's my pleasure to have with me uh, one of our Scientific Advisory Board members, Dr. Natalie Chevreau. I mean, thank you for being here with us. We're really excited to share some thoughts about products. Uh, we have an upcoming event. Uh, we're going to be launching some new products. Uh, and we thought it would be really uh, educational to understand what is it that goes on in how we make products uh, what are the steps that we take um, to ensure that products are safe, effective, and awesome to use? So Natalie, thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time. Um, let's pleasure. talk a little bit about this. Maybe you can help our, our people understand a little bit more what is it that we do when we're making products here. Thank you, Tom, and thank you all who are going to be watching this. And he doesn't like to introduce me as Dr. Fifi, but I do like Dr. Fifi. So I. What I want to talk about is there are rules by which a, a manufacturer and a marketer have to follow in order to put dietary supplements on the market. And those rules are called good manufacturing practice and you have to follow them. So you are a manufacturer, you make the products, you are on a regular basis audited either by the FDA and also by a third party, like NSF, for example. And they go through the process, they audit your whole facility, and they issue either some warning or a certificate of good manufacturing practice. Now, you might notice uh, on our products, we, we actually list a little certification symbol because our products are manufactured in facilities that are CGMP compliant. So when one develops a formula, First of all, one should have the experience in developing formula because you know which suppliers are reputable and some who are not. So you choose a formula, you choose an ingredient, like for example, Nourish, you go with some specification, meaning you want to know the identity of what's going in your product. You want to ensure the product is clean when it comes to micros and heavy metals. You want to have the strength, the potency of the active. So you, as an advisory board member, I advise Tranon on the ingredient, on the supplier. Then you go to the manufacturer and you have set up the specs for that ingredient and you work with the, the manufacturer and say, these are the specs for the ingredient that have to be met. And how they are met, the manufacturer will run further tests to verify what the supplier say it is, and also behind the scene at other point in time, Trenon may pull the raw material, pull the finished product, and run their own testing. So this is the importance of following the rules for good manufacturing practice. It starts from choosing the right ingredient, the right supplier, and the right manufacturer, and having the testing done after even when the product has been made, so you touch. And then what you do is, as you make the product and you have several production run going on, you certify that supplier. Because you know that now you work with that supplier, they are reliable, every time they, what they say they have in it, you have verified it, so you can certify your supplier. That's how you end up with a good product. Thank you again for that great explanation about the processes that are employed, the CGMP processes. I think it's really important to know that at each step that we're testing, uh, if those specifications are not met, the product never sees the light of day or the ingredient never gets included. And we've had to reject ingredients and we've had to reject finished good products uh, throughout our career and here at Trinot. And, and that's something that you may not be aware of, you may never know about because those are things that we just never bring to the market. Um, I think that's a really important thing that when we set these guidelines and we've set these specifications, again, we're doing this number one for the safety and the protection of our associates and our customers. And then number two, we're also doing it for the safety and protection of the company because if we're not meeting those guidelines, when we get audited, uh, the FDA has some really strong things to say to us and, and about us, et cetera, et cetera. So these are really great guidelines and great frameworks within we within which we operate excuse me um, and thank you again for that explanation let's talk a little bit about uh, a product one of my favorite products um, that you had a direct hand in in making and formulating let's walk through that process so that people can see and understand in in a real application 
how we went from concept to this beautiful finished product. Thank you, Tom. Let's talk about Nourish. I mean, it is a great product. I personally love it. It is so, uh, <laughs> so you can see it right here, and it's a meal replacement with plant-based protein because a lot of people want to include more plant-based ingredient in their diet. So let's give an example. So we knew we were gonna go with plant-based protein. So you have brown rice protein, you have yellow pea protein, you have uh, black pea protein, you have different type of protein. So we had, we, I work with various suppliers. Mm -hmm. So we obtain, first of all, the raw material, finding where it was from, the certificate of analysis, which shows what's in it, and, and also the taste, because right. taste is very important, because some of those pea protein taste like cardboard. Mm. And you don't want cardboard. It may be good for your health, but it doesn't. It's not good for the palate. So, I we I personally went through a long, an extended process working with various uh, providers. Those pea proteins come from Europe, Canada, uh, China, the Far East. So you have to be very cognizant of the specs you want to have. You verify the specs. You verify what's in it. Those are plants. They grow in the ground. There is naturally present in the ground, heavy metals, microbes. I mean, that's what the ground is. So it is very important to have the level of heavy metal and microbe within or below the level that are considered safe, okay? So you may have a bit of yeast and mold, that's okay. You cannot have one trace of E. coli, for example. You cannot have one trace of salmonella. Right. So there are labels that have been established by FDA, by the government in California to make sure those labels are below a certain level because you can never achieve zero. When you have a plant-based product, you can never achieve zero because it's not represented in the ground. So we audited several suppliers. We looked at several suppliers, what they had, and we chose the best and we tested to make sure it was correct. And that's how the product was built with good plant-based protein, with good vitamins, the best vitamins which are uh, made in a yeast fermentation, the best minerals. And then, so all of that takes time, takes cost, but quality comes at a cost and we are always balancing cost and quality. Great point. Quality does come at a cost. The product is awesome. Um, and it, it's awesome because of the care Dr. Chevreau put into it, following, establishing these processes, establishing these specifications. I like to think of quality comes at a cost. Like if we are not investing in quality, um, there are potentially things that can go really wrong. Uh, and, and so Trenant, one of the things that I love about Trenant uh, is just that we, we invest in our quality. We invest in the people we work with for example, um, and we invest in our products. Um, our products are great, they're clean, they're safe, they're, they're manufactured in uh, CGMP compliant um, manufacturing facilities. Um, and we do this so that you can have the confidence and the, and, um, the assurance that what you are getting is nothing but the very best. Thank you so much, Dr. Chevreau, appreciate your time. Thanks for listening. We hope to get back to you soon. Thank you very much, you all.